Today, boys and girls, we're going to read Sounds of the Past, the Wild West. As a wagon train makes its long journey westward, the weary travelers encounter an obstacle in their path, a wide river that must be crossed. Oh. The cattle are thirsty and dash forward to drink, startling the horses. The driver of the lead wagon yanks hard on the reins and cracks his whip to bring the team back in line. As the adults puzzle over how to get across, two children splash in the cool water, eager for some relief from the blistering heat. Twilight on the Great Plains, the members of a Native American hunting band gather with their families around a campfire. They feast and share stories as the howl of wolves is heard in the distance. The drums start up and the singings begin. Beyond the hunter's encampment, their horses graze peacefully, as does the mighty buffalo herd. It's the annual cattle roundup. Some cowboys are branding calves while others enjoy a well-deserved mug of coffee. Without warning, the hiss of a rattlesnake spooks the cattle and the peaceful herd is transformed into a stampede, a thundering mass of deadly hooves and horns. In the chaos, the chuck wagon crashes to the ground. Pots and pans go a-flying. A, a few brave riders attempt to round up the boisterous animals while others run for their lives. A stagecoach clatters down the trail at full speed, swaying, bouncing over the wheel ruts. It ignores the cries from the passengers and the driver whips even more speed from the horses as a gang of masked outlaws spring a deadly ambush. Gunshots echo around the rocky canyon and passengers cling to their seats in terror. The guard lifts his shotgun in hesitation. Should he return fire or tell the driver to stop and surrender? With a big puff of steam and a final toot of the whistle, the gleaming train pulls into a brand new station. The crowds cheer and clap and the band strikes up a rousing tune. The school teacher leads the choir of children in a song that they've rehearsed so many times. Amid the commotion, the mayor raises his hand for silence so he can make a speech of welcome. The End Boys and girls, you can purchase this book at Prairie Pages Bookseller in downtown Pier. It's the Wild West, Sounds of the Past.